Hello! Welcome to Rockstar Rags. I'm Evie, and today you are going to see how I achieved this makeup look. Uh, it's very vampy, but that's alright. It's okay to be vampy every once in a while. So, if you want to find out what I used on my face and how I achieved this, keep on watching the video. Thank you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to apply is the number 7 Beautiful Skin T-Zone Rescue. And this is like a primer. And yeah, I've never used this before, so this is my first impression. I'm actually using a lot of new products, so you'll be able to get my first thoughts on them. I'm just using a pea-sized amount, mainly in the T-zone. And my skin feels very matte, so hopefully this works as well as it says it does. Next I'm going to apply CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. And this is really popular on YouTube, and I have never used it, so it was on sale, I got it. I'm in the shade 805 Ivory, and this is supposed to have really great coverage, so I'm going to start off with just one pump and see if that's enough. Okay, that was one layer. I'm going to apply one more because that wasn't enough for me. So, one more pump. I feel like this is going to be a really good summer foundation because it's really matte. I'm going to stop there even though I could keep adding more layers because it's still not an intense coverage, so whatever. Um, now I'm going to use Hard Candy's Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer, my favorite, and I'm going to apply this under my eyes, around my nose, um, and then any problem spots I have. And you only need a little bit of this because it spreads really great. Next I'm going to set my concealer and foundation with Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm pressing this all over my face. Next I'm going to contour and for that I'm going to be using NYC Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder in All Over Bronze Glow. Next I'm going to apply blush and this is Avon's Ideal Luminous Blush in Soft Plum. Just looks like that. And now to blend that all out and make it less harsh, I'm just going to go in my, my stay mat again and blend it all together. Next I'm going to work on my brows, so I'm just going to comb my eyebrow hairs upward. And then I'm going to fill them in with the e.l.f. Brow Kit Wax. And to finish off the brows, I'm going to apply e.l.f.'s Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. Next I'm moving on to lips, and I'm going to do something a little interesting today. I'm going to attempt to do ombre lips. So to start that off, I'm just going to use Avon's Ultra Luxury Lip Liner in Deep Plum. Okay, so as you can see, I look a little crazy right now. And I just filled in the lip liner about halfway on both lips. And now I'm going to apply CoverGirl's Blast Flipstick Blendable Lip Duo in Intense. And this is dual-ended. One side is a dark plum color, kind of the shade of my lip liner. And then the other side is this really pretty metallic-y nude. I'm going to apply the nude in the center of my lips. Now I'm just going to rub my lips together and blend out the colors. Alright, so now the nude is covering more than the plum, so I'm just going to go back in with the lip liner and kind of detail it and lightly shade it just so it's an ombre lip. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do on my eyes is apply a black liner in my tight line and waterline, and for that I'll be using Dolce & Gabbana's The Cole Pencil in the color black. <laughs> now that looks very odd, so I'm going to go ahead and blend out that black liner on the bottom. Next I'm going to take a nice vanilla color, and this is NYX's Nude, and... I'm going to just apply this mostly on the brow bone and then bring it a little farther down, about to the crease area. Next I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to use this medium brown from the Clinique Color Surge Eyeshadow Duo in Chocolate Kiss. And this is going to be our blending shade, so we're just going to really work that in the crease. Now I'm going to take 
Milani's Shadow Eyes 12 Hour Wear Eyeshadow in color Royal Purple. And I'm going to apply this all over my lid as a base for my purple shadow. And then I'm just going to just blend it a little with my finger. Okay, so now that that's all blended, I'm going to apply my purple shadow, which is Revlon Diamond Lust in the shade Plum Galaxy, and it's so pretty. I'm just going to take a flat brush, press it into the shadow, and then press it on my eyelid because this has some fallout, so don't want to get this all over my face. And I'm also going to tap it off so I don't get any excess flakes. And we're just going to press it over the lid. I actually changed my mind about the ombre lip, so instead I'm just going to use this dark shade on the other side of this same lip color. Next I'm just going to take that same blending brush and I'm just going to, without any putting any product on it, I'm just going to kind of blend that purple out. Now I'm going to apply a black shadow and I'm using the black from Revlon Color Stays. 12 hour shadow in sultry smoke and I'm using this black and I'm going to work this in my outer V and connect it to that eyeliner that we smudged on the bottom I'm also just going to run this along my lower lash line then just to intensify the lid I'm going to dip my finger in some water and then dip it on top of the shadow and it's just going to really intensify that purple yeah, I definitely recommend that you wet that shadow, and it just really intensifies that color. And you can also see the sparkles in the shadow a lot better. The last shadow I'm going to use is from Avon's Smooth Mineral in the Nudes Duo, and we're using the champagne color. And this is going to be my inner corner highlight. And now I'm going to apply Wet n Wild Mega Liner Liquid Eyeliner in black, and I'm going to wing it out. Now I'm going to put on Maybelline the Falsies Mascara. Now I'm going to apply Elf's Natural Lashes, and I will be using Duo Eyelash Adhesive. Okay, so now the eyes are finished, so I'm just going to finish the whole look off with my Elf All Over Stick in Persimmon as a highlight. And I will be applying this down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin and cheekbones. Alright, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this. It's really intense, and I know, but I can't help myself. I like intense. And if you are feeling vampy, it's the way to go. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you have a wonderful day or night. And thank you so much, and like it if you like it, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. That would be wonderful. So keep it vampy, rock stars.